Hi guys! Today we're going to make a cute LED lamp in the form of that little kitten. This is how the lamp will look from the side, and this is the way it'll look from the front. Awesome, right? Whoa! Susan, does that mean it's gonna be black? <laughs> That's right, Sammy. Despite any of your superstitions, guys, we'll need a 3D pen. We're gonna use it a lot today. Remember to be careful. Here we go. By the way, guys, you can browse our channel to find more 3D pen crafts we made. As you've noticed, we started with the outlining of the cat's body. Be very careful with the pen, guys. The plastic inside is really hot. Like this. We're not drawing the cat's ears just yet. All right. Now we can start filling in the space. Just make sure that you've made it visible where the cat's paw is. Okay, now we need to take this off and start shaping the head of our cat. So, let's move to the full face drawing. Guys, you better start by drawing the line straight in the middle, like this. Why do we need that, Susan? I'll show you in a second, Sammy. In the meantime, could you please bring me the scissors? You'd really be helping me a lot. <laughs> Sure, in a blink of an eye. So, did you have enough time to blink? Wow, that was fast, Sammy. We'll carefully take this off. And cut this piece in half, moving along the line we drew first. Be careful with scissors. Sue, I don't get it. First you draw a line, now you cut it. What's the point? <laughs> Watch this, Sammy. Oops. Wow. I thought some magic wouldn't do any harm. <laughs> Now we'll attach this part to the big one using a 3D pen. This way. Oh, I see. That was to give volume to the cat's head. Do you get it, guys? Then give a thumbs up. Check this out. Here's what we've got. Hmm, it looks like a flower to me. <laughs> You're right, Sammy. I just checked the internet. Do you know how old this thing with black cats and red log is? Well, go on. Surprise me, Sammy. It dates back to the Middle Ages when people tended to believe in curses and witchcraft. Exactly, Sammy. You see, people back then didn't know as much as they do today. They were afraid of anything that was unusual. Take this 3D pen, for example. I bet if you and I could travel back in time and show them this pen, they would have taken us for wizards doing some dark magic. <laughs> Speaking of magic... Hop! Voila! <laughs> Guys, we made this part of our cat lamp exactly like we made its head. You have an academy is knowing how to do magic then I don't mind. Ha, I think I'm gonna give Fluffy a treat. Here, kitty kitty. Now you're talking, Sammy. <laughs> Susan, did you know that there are 200 different breeds of cats in the world? Can you imagine? Really? That many? Oh, yeah. It also says that there are at least 600 million domestic cats in the world. Now imagine how many of those are black. <laughs> I got it. These animals have nothing to do with mysteries. Actually, Sammy, I wouldn't be so sure about that.
For example, in ancient Egypt they believed cats were magical creatures. I remember, they had a goddess named Plastat who could transform into a cat. Right. Ancient Egyptians believed that this deity was responsible for the fruitfulness of crops. So they kept cats in their houses, fed them deliciously, and even put expensive jewelry on them to butter up Bastet. Oh, and did it work? It did. Although I think jewelry probably had nothing to do with it. Cats were catching mice so that they couldn't spoil the grain. <laughs> wow, Susie, are you finishing? Not exactly, Sammy. Just a few touches left. Hurry up, Sue! I'm trying, Sammy. What an impatient slime you are. Ugh. Okay, guys, now the body of our cat lamp is pretty much sturdy. Check this out. We even drew this little paws over here. And a little collar. Susie, don't take it personally, but... Those parts you're talking about are hardly visible. None taken, Sammy. Besides, we'll deal with that right now. Guys, a soldering iron is not a toy. Ask an adult to help you at this stage. Our aim here is to carefully flatten the plastic all over the craft. This way. Phew, you're gonna need a lot of patience. <laughs> ah, it'll take an eternity. I'd better go grab something tasty. Oh, Sammy, Sammy, my little sweet tooth. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, we'll keep working. <laughs> what? Oh no! My candies! Fluffy! <sighs> Easy, Sammy. Breathe. He's a divine creature. Ah! <sighs> At least my Nutella is safe in the fridge. Ha! Huh. To me, it looks great. What do you say, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree. Uh, uh. Susie! missing a few details. Like ears, you mean? Don't worry, here they are. And they're already smooth and neat, exactly as they should be. To make our cat smooth too, we need a polishing tool. Use this under an adult supervision. <laughs> I trust Susan with this type of work. Oh, I'm sorry, Sammy. This stuff is flying everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. Now I'm properly equipped. Finally, now our craft looks like this. Nice, huh? Okay, guys, we can finally make our cat look more like a cat. <laughs> Wait, Sue, let the master handle this. 3D panic is at Tachiku. Now that's what I call magic. <laughs> wow, Sammy, the ears look so real now. You did a really great job. And so quickly. Now it's my turn to demonstrate my magical skills to you. <laughs> Whoosh! Guys, at the tip of the tail there should be this tiny hitch. We'll need it to hang up the light bulb. Speaking of light, can I borrow the 3D pen? Of course. Thank you. I wonder what he's up to. Guys, you'll need to cover your workspace for the next stage of our craft. We're going to do some painting. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I just love this dim black color. Are you already done? Almost, Sammy. We just need to draw a cute little face. Let's start with the eyes. We'll take some white color and carefully paint all this space. Don't rush. Like this. I love painting our crafts. It's kind of like meditation and fun at the same time. Just don't go beyond the edges, Sue. Smooth touches. 
smooth. Oh, that restless slime. <laughs> he always tries to control me. How much longer? I'm already hungry. What this impatience of yours is all about? Anyway, fine. I'll speed up. Check out how cool our lamp is now! Guys, it's me again, a real YouTube star, a real heartbreaker, and just an awesome slime. Today, we're gonna craft something pop-tastic. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Sue will do everything and I'll just hang around. And in the end, I'll take credit for the craft. <laughs> Are you mental? <gasps> Who's that? Me? Sammy, sorry, it's not what you think. Yeah, sure. We're gonna have a serious talk after the shooting. Yeah, I get that. Uh, hi guys. Today Sam and I were supposed to make a T-Rex skeleton with a 3D pen, but there was a misunderstanding. So I'm just gonna start without Sam. <laughs> Let's begin with the pelvis. Don't get me wrong, but I'm doing well without Sammy so far. Though so it's not as fun. Hmm. I wonder what he's doing. I guess he's sitting in some corner sulking. I will never help her with crafts again! She can make them herself. Oh no! I have to help her! She probably messed it up and now she's crying alone. I made the second part of the pelvis. Check it out. Awesome! Hmm. It's kind of boring without Sam. Don't you think? I mean, <laughs> really. Why doesn't he want to make peace? I've already pleaded guilty. Aha! Oh, you're back! We're having fun here with the viewers. Yeah, I thought you were going to call for my help. Nope. Actually, I decided to finish everything by myself. Besides, check this out. Done! Now we just need to connect them. Fine. Call me if you need anything. I'll help you anyway. Phew! That means he's not too upset. Oh, I wanted to apologize and send him away. Oh, no, no. I'll have to fix things somehow. It's okay. I'll figure something out. In the meantime, let's continue and get this part of the skeleton done. All right. Now, we need to make a special place for the thigh bone here. It should match the size of the bones you've already made. Guys, be careful with the soldering iron. It's very easy to burn your fingers. You'd better ask an adult to help you if that's possible. There we go! Let's finish this part of the leg. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. <laughs> oh, I know how to make peace with Sam. You know, they say that working together makes friendship stronger. Hmm. Let's get to the vertebrae of our T-Rex. We need patience here. Ugh, it's 
so many tiny details. May I use some magic? That's better. Now I can proceed with my plan. <clears throat> Sam! Sammy! Why? Sam, come here. What you need? You said you were doing great without me. Sam, it seems I can't do it by myself. Could you help me? Only if you ask nicely. Aha, uh -huh. you miss making crafts after all. A little, plus you'll be lost without me. What do you need? <laughs> we need to make the vertebrae like this. It's gonna get hot. Master Sam is on it. It's a start, I suppose. Sam began working. A little more, and he'll calm down. Hmm, I wonder if I went too far provoking Sam. <sighs> I could have offended him, you know? No nonsense. It's gonna be okay. Right? Anyway, I think it's time to see how he's doing there. Sam! How's work on the spine going? Done! I even put them on a stem. Wow! Great job, Sammy! You bet! You even made places for the thigh bones! Oh, you're the best. Yeah, I am. <laughs> In the meantime, I made these vertebrae. Are you gonna put them on now? Yep. Ugh, it'll take you three days. Place them here and watch closely. Okay. Up. Done. Oh, so cool, Sammy. Yep, what would you do without me? Anyway, do you need more help? Sure. Let me attach this part here and I'll show you what to do. All right, call me when you need me. Yay! Looks like he started to mellow out. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I never know what to do when I offend somebody. I want to make peace, but sometimes I don't know where to start. I decided to give Sam some more work. I think I can finish with legs while he'll be busy making ribs. Sammy, come here! Yes, what can I do? Sammy, we need to make different sized ribs like this. Can you do it? Peace up, cake. Perfect. Now everyone's got a job to do. By the way, did you watch our video about archaeology? If not, please do it as soon as possible. Sam and I took a cool dinosaur skeleton out of stone, and then we assembled it. It was so interesting. Huh, Sam's a little quiet. Hmm, I hope he's doing well there. Anyway, why did he even get mad? It was a harmless joke. Wah, wah, wah. I'm the best slime and I won't tolerate any Still jokes on I me. haven't forgiven you yet, and there you go again. Oh, you frightened me, and I, I was talking about myself. You were? Mm-hmm, sure, yeah. I'm Sue and I always do things wrong. Also, I, I can't do without Sam. All right. Phew, that was close. Okay, let's make the fingers of our dinosaur. Done! Awesome! Let's put them in place. Check it out, Sammy! Isn't it cool? Oh yeah! I can feel the touch of a master! <laughs> the touch of a master, you say? Hmm, do you mean your touch or mine? I guess both. <laughs> Ha! Finally the master appreciated my work. Well, I didn't mean that. I meant that two ordinary hands and a master like me can do quite a good job together. Oh, now I might get offended, Sammy. But then you'll know how I felt. I get it. Actually, I already apologized. Well, I think you're kind of insincere. <gasps> really? How was I supposed to apologize then? Huh, by offering me a Nutella jar, for example. Oh, or my favorite Oreo cake. Oh, I know, I know! Ice cream! <laughs> Aren't you asking too much, Sam? Well, you know I like sweets, don't ya? Yeah. 
fine. You can just do my chores for a week. <laughs> uh, no way! There's a Nutella jar in the fridge. It's all yours. But it's almost empty! You ate it all and didn't even share. That's because I had an urgent need for sweets. I'm always stressed out because of you. Living with you is no picnic either, you know. <sighs> Would you look at him? He is always stressed out. <sighs> Ugh. Uh, I just meant that we fight sometimes. Yeah, well, I can't argue with that. Oh, Sammy, worrying must be hard for you. No, I just meant that sometimes we fight because you can't control yourself. All I can do is eat all the sweets so you don't get any. Oh, you naughty slime! Turned everything in his advantage and escaped. What could I do? I love sweets and I got a chance to annoy you. Annoy me? Oh, Sammy. I'm glad he doesn't like fruit as much as sweets. Now that would have really annoyed me. Sweets? Nah, I can live without them. Sam, enough hiding. Come back. I won't hurt you. Aren't you mad at me? Not at all. Are you sure? Sure, Sammy. Have I ever lied to you? Huh. Let me think. Sammy! All right, all right, you don't lie. That's right. Guys, you all heard that Sue's not mad at me. I'm not. But our T-Rex huh? is very... <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's gone. Oh, I probably offended him again. Oh, for crying out loud. Today is definitely not my day. At least the craft is coming out great, right? Hey, Sam, come back. Huh? Why are you shouting? I'm so sorry. I won't do it again. Hey, what's on your face? Nutella remains. You said it's all mine, so I decided to finish that jar before you change your mind. <laughs> Sammy, silly little slime. Why is that? Oh, Sam, don't ever change. <laughs> That's it, our T-Rex is done! Hooray! 